Hi, welcome to Two Jews on Film. I'm Joan. I'm Joan. What's the title of the film? (laughs) Stop it, wait a minute. The film is Extremely Loud and Incredibly Close. close. And it was directed by Stephen Daltrey and written by Eric Roth, who did Forrest Gump and Benjamin Button, and it's based on a novel. I absolutely loved, love, love this film. It stars Tom Hanks, Sandra Bullock, and this... um, kid who's never acted before. His name is Thomas Horn. And Scott Rudin actually found him watching Jeopardy. I mean, he Scott Rudin was watching Jeopardy, not Thomas Horn. Thomas Horn was on Jeopardy. And in real life, he actually has Asperger's syndrome, which uh, the character in this movie has. Art imitating life, life imitating art. Nonetheless, <sighs> this is a movie that is, is, you can see it's set up to make people cry. It's and a, I cried. And it's so obvious that it's, you know, it would take, I take umbrage to it. Because it's so manipulative and overtly manipulative. Oh my God! You take umbrage yes. to it. Yes, and I also feel <laughs> I also feel that the, the kid finds this key and he, it, the key sets him on this odyssey. Right, because his father dies in nine eleven. That's right, and so the key sets him on this odyssey. And what we do is what's so odd about this movie is that you see the kid meet a couple of people. More than a couple. Uh, no, 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 no. Because then no, at the no, end, no, of, no, then no. at the end of the of the film, all these other people showed up. But who he, was supposedly, no, no. supposedly in his travels. Yes. And you met them? You met them? I met them? With <laughs> great, <laughs> great brevity. Okay, wait a second, Sir, wait a second. This is a beautiful film. It has to do with loss, basically. That's that's what this movie well, is I about. Gotta, I know it's loss and redemption. And well, this, the finding... kid doesn't need redemption. and it, Well, yeah, he does feel guilty over a couple things. Max von Sado's in it. Sado? You know, Max. Max, you know who you are. He's it, it, wonderful it ain't the in it. <laughs> and it ain't a Bergman film. This, this. But I'll tell you something. This, this movie, the, 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 the whole premise of this movie about a, a, a young boy, who years later after losing his father, wants to. Not uh, years later. It was like a year later. A year later, whatever. Yeah. Wants to wants to find out more in depth about who the man behind the, the, the father. You and, know? and what's so interesting is, to bring up the Asperger's point, is that the kid in real life does have Asperger's. So when you're watching this film, it, you know, you don't realize it at first that there's something very odd about how he relates to well, people. Well, the kid was very impressive for a first yeah. time out. Oh, my God. The kid's got major chops. I don't know where it came from. Maybe it's attributable to his Asperger's. You know, condition. Well, like your yours is retributed. Mine's to just you. a drooling condition. <laughs> anyway, oh, totally anyway, I meat. can wholeheartedly say go see this film, but I can say if you if you want to be manipulated for a good cry, and uh, what what was interesting is that you have these major actors appearing in the film for a short period of time, but their, their character thread is carried throughout the movie. Yeah, and they did it because they love the project. I mean, Tom Hanks is in it, you know, throughout the film, and Sandra Bullock's part is smaller than usual, but, you know, this is a film with heart. This is a film that everyone can relate to it, because whether you lost somebody in 9-11 or not, I mean, you were there. You, I mean, we all shared this horrific experience. Okay. Uh, let's share the experience <laughs> of the bagels of this horrific experience. I am giving this film incredibly... Close and extremely loud. Oh my gosh, I gotta get names right for the new year. I am giving it out of five bagels, four and a half bagels, four and a half weight New York bagels. I know I'm a putting... doctor that performs the bottom. <laughs> I, know, I think I had one. I am putting stub it cream cheese locks bagels on um, on these. I mean, because I love this movie, now I'm really not making sense. I'm Go just, ahead, John. I'm just going for two bagels, two bagels, and a little bit of cream cheese. Oh my because god, because it's, it's so overtly manipulative. Oh, blah blah. Anyway, it opens. Theaters December 25th. Do not miss this film. It's absolutely beautiful. It's all in the eyes of the beholder. <sighs> Bye. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> he can't figure out how to shut the camera off.